Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes. Today, we're gonna show you how to assemble and install the grill from pontoonstuff.com to make your boat another place to cook some awesome fresh food. You're gonna have quite a few parts and pieces when, you, when it first arrives. We've got our grill itself. Everything's gonna be self-contained inside of the grill, which is one of the cool features of this grill. You can pack it up and put it right back in storage on the boat until next time. You've got your table leg, which will come in two pieces. Again, this folds and goes inside of the grill, but that will be assembled together just like so. You've got your gas regulator or your adjustment for lighting and your grill heat. You have your carry handles. And then you have your base plate with a spring button. The way that you're gonna insert this, there's a hole here, and on one of the, the screw holes, you're gonna have a little key. And the way that we do it is just insert it in. The key is gonna line up with that plastic piece, and it just presses into place. So what this does is when this is bolted into the floor, you'll push the button, and that will move these teeth out of the way so you can loosen your table leg to get it out. We're using stainless steel quarter 20. This is a machine, a uh, flathead Phillips number three, big stainless quarter 20 bolt, some washers and some locking nuts. I'm also gonna use my impact and then we'll use a 7 16 wrench to tighten everything down. Choosing your placement, we're gonna go on the very back of the boat for this. Make sure you check underneath, see if you're gonna go into any cross members. Ideally, we just go through the plywood, so if it's a matter of adjusting it by an inch or two, you could do so. In this case, these four holes are gonna catch just plywood. These two, we're gonna drill through with a 7 seconds drill bit. These are aluminum cross members. So by drilling it just teeny bit smaller than a quarter inch, I'm gonna be able to thread these right in. I've already drilled my holes. So I'm gonna go ahead and thread in. And I like to use this flathead Phillips because it allows everything to be nice and flush. We'll go ahead and we'll tighten our nuts and washers on the bottom so everything's secure with that plate. Then we'll show you how everything attaches and installs. We have our table leg, which just screws right into that plate and you'll hear it click. That's how we tighten it down. Again, to release it, we push down on the button and we can back it out. If the button is, isn't pushed down, I can't turn it. That's a safety mechanism. From here, the gas grill actually just rests right on top of your post. You can turn it if you need to. We've got a little grease catch bowl that will go up into the back of the grill. You just turn it halfway and that'll rest in place to catch grease, keeps it off your boat. When we flip open our lid, we can then insert our drip, our drip tray. It's gonna help make sure that the heat is distributed evenly as well and then our grill grate. We've got our gas flow. That's simply gonna insert in the right-hand side, and then we'll thread in that connection. We would hang a camping-style small propane tank right off of here when we're ready to grill. And our last touches are gonna be our carry handles. There's just little slots on each side that these will fit into so they can rotate down out of the way, or they can come and become handles for you. When we're ready to pack up, we just take everything apart. When you're all done, pack your supplies inside, close it up, and you can carry it right back to storage, put in a bag, whatever suits your needs, maybe just right under a seat, for next boat trip. Be safe out on the water. Keep an eye on your grill when you have it hot. Keep the kiddos away. You're gonna have an awesome option to grill some fresh food out on the water.